is Steve Carrington, Paul Mermere, taking you five days into the future for our August 7th council meeting. First thing to note is that is on a Monday. Uh, this That week there is a Alaska Municipal League conference that basically starts on Tuesday, or a lot of travel happens on Tuesday. So we're moving our meeting to Monday the 7th, one of those rare times we will do that. Normally it's the second and fourth Tuesdays of every month. So I wanted to make sure to mention that. Uh, also, want to mention uh, next week, Friday the 11th, is uh, the last Friday fling. And that's for the summer. And then, then we shift into things like uh, the state fairs coming up uh, at the Palmer Fairgrounds, etc. But at the last meeting there at the Friday fling, there'll be a booth for library input. So if you can, go check that out. Also, they'll have a place for input as well for the library, at the library, the interim library, which I believe is open like 10 to 2, Monday through Friday. And they have these library boards that ask questions like, what do you love about your library? You know, big questions. What would make your visit to the library even more enjoyable? And people have started answering those questions. We've got the architects are coming into town. They're starting to meet with... Uh, key people and leaders, and then we'll start having public meetings probably in September where we'll start uh, sharing what people have been saying and uh, coming up with actual plans for the library and, and working through that. Uh, we still have a P&Z opening, uh, so make sure you can go to the website and apply and read about what's happening with the planning and zoning. That's at palmerak.org. Also, then, for the meeting agenda, we've got Tim Zallinger will be doing a presentation, and he's with Matsu Valley Rebuild, which is kind of a little different take on recycling. We'll be hearing from him. There's two public hearings. One is uh, appointing election officials for a regular uh, annual election in uh, October, October 3rd, the first Tuesday in October. The second is an ordinance to appropriate monies to repair Palmer's lift station, which was damaged in the big windstorm of December 2022. And much of that money will actually be covered by insurance, but we still have to spend the money to document what we're doing and then apply for reimbursement. And then we've got like five action memorandum. Uh, one's about an agreement with the Palmer Police. Uh, they're coming up with agreement to field training for the Togiak Police Department. Also, we've got, uh, we're accepting some donations for the uh, Palmer Police Bike Patrol. And uh, there's a couple of action memorandum for that. And then there's a couple memorandum for what they call a non-objection for uh, alcohol licensing. Uh, the state basically asks the city, do they have any objection? And uh, you know, as long as they're staying current on all their uh, city stuff, then we have no objection. And then under unfinished business, we once again have the MPO or the Matt Valley program for transportation, I think it's called. Um, the council decided to postpone again because the borough tweaked their resolution at the last minute, so we wanted a chance to look at ours before approving it. And uh, the attorneys got some changes and additions to it as well, and hopefully, my hope is that we will be approving that because the borough is sending all these resolutions of support to the state in the month of August. So. Uh, if we're going to be part of this, I think we need to be part of it and get it into the packet so that we're considered uh, as part of a, the MPO, which personally I tend to think would be uh, the better option, shall we say. I, I'm not sure it's a great option, but I, I would rather have a say in what's happening and be one of the leaders for that as opposed to um, uh, I consider not being part of it. A bit more like putting your head in the sand. So, this has been Palmer Mayor Steve Carrington taking you five days into the future for our August 7th, which is on a Monday, City Council meeting.